Hello, crypto boys and ghouls, and welcome back to the channel, Tales from the Cryptomancer, where we feature content on play-to-earn games on the blockchain, such as Splinterlands. And today, I want to do a quick video on how to maximize your rentals using tools like Peak Monsters and some of the analytics and reporting within the tool that you may or may not be aware of. And I'd like to start by going into my collection here. You can see cards in my collection in Peak Monsters displayed here. And if I go in and I sort on cards that I own, that I have not delegated, that are not for rent, and they're not on the market, this gives me a list of all available cards in my collection right now um, that could possibly be rented. And if I sort based on collection power, what we can see here is a list of my highest CP cards at the top. And under the status or last played column, I can see here cards that have been used in the last 24 hours for my daily uh, quests or my ranked battles. And I can get an understanding of cards that may be idle that I'm not using on a regular basis that may be better put to use as rentals for passive income. So we can see here, for example, that I have a Jin Bilka level three at 3000 collection power that I haven't used in the last 24 hours. And honestly, it's not a key part of my earth team and I'm probably not gonna use it to climb in the near future. So what I'd like to do is select this and I'd like to look at renting this as an option for passive income. And I can look here and I can see that on the cards, there are active bids of 20 DEC for this card and level that I can immediately rent for. I can see on the market, there's actually rentals for 17 you know, and change DEC. But what I can also see is that they're active CP bids right now for 140 CP. So if I take 3000 divided by 140, I can immediately rent this for 21.42 DEC, which we're gonna do, which is gonna actually give us 1.42 DEC per day over the um, available bids for that this card and level uh, that's in Peak Monsters. And if you go into the game here, in just a few seconds, the auto rental will pick that up and I should see that extra 21 DEC in my balance here. And we'll give it a second here and we'll see if that populates. And it did, we got the rental and there you go. So 21.42 immediately rented here in Peak Monsters. So again, this is a great way uh, and strategy how you can take idle cards in your collection, get passive income, and maximize your earning and reinvestment potentials in Splinterlands. I hope this video is helpful and it is, gives you some idea of what you might be able to use for your card collection. And until next time, keep stacking those stats.